Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing some more Kaizo Caverns today. Sorry for being away for so long. Don't know why. Just got, eh, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to be using up all the footage I still have left from the previous recording session today in a one hour or, or so. I don't know exactly. I think it's two, I think I still have an hour left. That's about it. Uh, episode, maybe it's an hour and a half. Who knows? And then I'll try and do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday release schedule. Well, after that, to do new episodes. Um... Now that I've said it, hopefully that's enough to keep me doing it, so cross your fingers on that one. Anyway, without further ado, here's the footage. Isn't that great? Hey guys and gals, Chartouse here, bringing you some more of my... Today, today we're back in Kaizo Caverns, episode 12, and we are about a third of the way done, I think. We have a eight... Uh, we're getting close to half, actually, now. Yeah, we have eight uh, blocks up there. We got... Seven wool and our newly acquired gold block. And, oh no, sorry, last one we got was lime, I believe. We found that in the cavern with all the sand. Speaking of sand, I think we might make, see if we can make some, ah, uh, we don't have much to make more TNT, so we'll just store that away. Use to make glass at some point. Be nice for looking into mobs. Uh, what we got? We got a good supply of torches. I uh, got some bones. We got some. Uh, we need some food, though. That's that might be important. Let's make some uh, mushroom stew real quick, because despite being a bit annoying to craft, it heals a good amount. And we'll get some bread. Uh, oh, there we got some. We'll make three pe three pieces of bread here. And there we go. We got a good supply of food on us. We got a we got a chest. Plenty of blocks this time, so we don't run out. Uh, don't think we need two bows. Not sure where, we got the se where I picked up the second one. Uh, I'll throw these extra stuff away. Put the wheat in there. We got seeds and stuff still here. Put the gravel on the hot bar like that. Mm, yeah, that should be good. We don't need this so much. Oh, we're th oh yeah, we killed some squid. Got some pointless ink sacks. Uh, we will make another sword. Just in case, so we don't have one of the irons. So we need to get one of those buckets of water back too, so we can make our farm here. So that might, I think that'll be the first thing we do. We'll go over to uh, the was it the Ilvern Mines and grab the bucket from like I guess that's the dormitories. Oop, I still want that. Um, let's uh, get some wood here, just to carry around with us, and we're off. So let's head over to intersection two. Be nice if there's a quicker way, but uh, don't haven't seen rail supplies really. Oh wait, yeah, there was some some rail supplies, but hmm, it's a bit long. Might take might take those and bring them here. Haven't found the third intersection yet, though we haven't even got we haven't finished the twisting dark. We found uh, the lime wool in the cool little survivor spot where I guess the guy blew himself up with the TNT because he tried to defuse it. Oop. Oop. Oh, I man missed. Hey, you. Come on. There we go. Sense of adventure, not lighting everything up perfectly. Okay, uh, yeah, we were... Uh, uh, we found the guy... Hideout where it says he tried to his last journal entry was he was trying to defuse some of the TNT around here. Wonder how well of that went. Uh, so we'll head over to there again. But first, let's grab our water. Let's even grab that, make a water bucket run so we have s at least some water at spawn. Fortunately, we lost one of the buckets. So until we find the iron source, which I'm hoping is somewhat nearby, we can uh, we'll have to rely on that one bucket. Maybe make a second trip uh, to get the second wire from over there. But let's see what we can do. Because I think that's the closest water source I can think of. 
I don't think any of the previous ones had really any water in them. And seems somewhat safe. That roof is still not safe. Hope we don't get hit by any of those kamikaze skeletons anymore. I think, uh, I don't matter this being so wide open, but uh, let's take a look. A look in this chest. Okay, can we? Um, we'll take the leather for some armor. Oh, frick. I remember this area getting blown up. The second creeper spawn? Something? Maybe we shouldn't have left this zombie spawner. This is bad news. Let's check this one. Some extra arrows. That'll do. And we'll take a quick peek in these again. I'll take the extra TNT. A uh, couple pieces of bread. Leave the rest here, but except the leather. Our armor's still good. Carry some leather on us. Probably a bad idea, but we're going to bring it back to spawn after we grab our water bucket from over here. See, our wheat is grown. We'll leave, leave that for now. We don't need it just yet. We're going to try and grab this bucket so we can make a, a farm, at, farm at near the spawn, not at the victory monument, sorry. So we now got our precious water bucket and an iron sword on us. Um, I'll, since we're doing a run, I'll bring back some iron armor and a stack of arrows. I'll leave this here as a m stuff in case I lose it. don't want to, but just in case. And we need a pant pair of pants to go with that iron armor. Um, take the one arrow here. Take some sticks and should be good to go. I don't think there was anything valuable in the other ones. Um, while we're doing this quick little run here, we'll grab some wheat. And I'll probably meet you guys back at the Inter back at the Victory Monument, where I'll dump all this stuff off. Yeah, let's grab the wheat here while we're here. Yeah, I grabbed, hit some uh, not fully grown ones. Ooh, we don't have any inventory space. <laughs> and this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And let's replant. Got a good supply of wheat here. And do 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 do. Lots of wheat. And let's head on back. I think we don't need. Um, let's grab the compass and such up here. Let's see a spider in here. That zombie is in here too. I think. There's that zombie. Must be on the top floor where the stuff we want are. Yeah, it's just the wooden hose, which we're going to leave. Oh, the iron sword is just awesome. No, I could have sworn there was a compass in here. A compass and a clock for some reason. Down there? In here? No, you're mushrooms, though. Uh, let's grab those. We will, um, hmm. P perhaps we had too much in every inventory. We'll drop those. Let's grab these 16 as well. Um, replacing. <laughs> uh, we'll eat a piece of bread. And we'll grab those. Maybe I don't need the compass. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be worth it. Mm, do we need him? It's not really useful to have a clock in this game. I don't think. It, yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave them here. If we need them ever, we'll come back. And with that, I think I will meet you guys back at the victory monument so we can drop off this extra guff that we have, and then we'll see you at the intersection. Then we'll go to the intersection. And welcome back. Uh, so instead of going to the Victory Monument, I decided just to make up a little base here at Intersection 2. 
instead of running back and forth all the time. Our little furnace, crafting bench, and chest dropped off this extra stuff here. And uh, what we'll do is actually make a sign, because I feel it. Now, uh, what shall we call this place? This needs to have a name. Hmm, what can we call it? House of not time wasting. House of not time wasting. So I don't have to go waste my time running all the way back there for quick resupplies. So we have somewhat conquered over mine, so let's see. Let's mark it off somewhat. Yeah, that work. Twisting Dark, we partially explored, and we haven't really touched Cavern of Sky, besides the wool on the way to it. So we'll go back down to the Twisting Dark. Uh, we got a good amount of torches this time. Got good arrows. Hope we might need to go mine some more coal for more torches, but we'll see what we can do here. It's all covered off because of that skeleton when I was at half a heart last time. I don't see any mobs. Uh, we'll continue this path. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. Now let's head up here then. Yep. Where'd he go? Nope. about to explode. Nope, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's uh, make this somewhat safer. There's some coal for us. Uh, we'll grab, yeah, let's grab that now. We're going to use a ton of torches in this area. So this little spot is clear. Let's peek over to here. Okay. Coal down there. Bad things over here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna wait for you to come here. Ow. Dang it. Oh, you're a good shot. Shit, shoot. Jeez. I'm gonna waste all my arrows on that. <laughs> I don't know how they were hitting me so fast. Take some of these free arrows that I shot. There's a nice huge vein of coal here. Out. Okay, retreat. That area is not safe. Uh, Re equip the mushrooms too. Get a bread on the bar. Get another bread on the bar. Killing our armor with those creepers. But, okay, what is with this area here? Because I'm lighting up so much. Um, yeah, there's zombies everywhere there, so we are going to go back and try and see if there's an alternate path around them. Perhaps the way we went. Up there was the little hideout. So let's check a look up here again. We Actually, we tried exploring this way, so we'll go around here. Hopefully the skeletons aren't as bad right now. Some way down, th way down there. That's where all our sand was. So for glass and TNT making, we'll probably have to harvest all this. Pretty nice now, it's all lit up. And up there is where we went. Cre creepers took out our staircase. Knew yeah, that was a trap. Come on, you gonna fall more? Another pathfinding. So I think I went up yep, here. Because that staircase got blown up. Your bad things. Zombies over there. I hear them all around me, but this path seems quite safe. Yeah, there's, there's one. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. This isn't 1 6. Wait, how did I get up here? Did I abandon this pursuit? Yeah, I did. May the. Oh, yeah, the guy was up the waterfall, so I abandoned this way. Oh, 
you, cheaty. How long can you hold your fuse for? Okay, three pieces of bread on the bar. And the armor's almost dead. Helmet's gone. So I'm not sure why, but let's uh, speed light up. And retreat from that direction. Skelly's down there. Coal here. Good. Water up ahead. Mobs. Zombie spawner there. Oops. Skeleton. Massive skeletons below us. Hmm. We are getting... Uh, oh. Bugger. I'm gonna seal you guys off first. Oh, not again. Let go of your fuse! Ow, nope. Nope, nope. Oh, this is draining us badly. Okay, we're down to our last piece of bread already. These skeletons, man. I'm having the worst of luck with these guys. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. We are dying. These skeletons are so bloody cheap. Where's, where's my path? Where's my path? Get out of here. I can still hear them. But these are worse than the 1-6 skeletons. Those are at least predictable and you heal up. These things do three hearts. It's a damage and my armor is now gone from, the first cre from those creeper blasts. Uh, so I think we might put the iron on. We are going to make a slightly risky choice and try and get this here. Oh, that sounds bad. Hopefully you guys are hearing that. That is chaos. Got 22 coal, that's plenty. So we just need to get out of here. We're gonna try and take out the zombie far range. Okay, and now we are going to run past this. Hopefully, not getting shot in the back. Yes, we're okay, we're in our marginally safe tunnel. So we should be good. It's only too high in most places, so skeletons shouldn't be able to shoot us even if they did spawn in this tunnel. Except on the stairs. But let's get back to the intersection. That's hard. There's too many mobs in there. Okay, um. Well, we need food. Um, let's make a. Th I thought I had four bowls of mushroom stew on me. Where'd the last one go? Did I leave it? Uh, let's make our mushroom stew. Three bowls, of course. One, two, three, and we'll make four wheat. Two, three. And we have four bones to make four more pieces of bread if we want to, because we got all this, we got everything except dirt here, which would have probably been a good thing to have brought. Now that I think of it. That said, we'll make ourselves. Let's make ourselves half a stack of torches. I'll keep those on us. Make more. Um, so we're going to heal up full. And we'll grab another mushroom stew while we're at it. Because we need all the help we are going to get here. <laughs> Silly me. Yum. Okay. Armor, 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 armor. Um, let's take something more durable. Let's take our durable armor. Um, yeah. Might have to use, start using our TNT. 
to drop down on those guys. Risk uh, breaking some loot chests. Short one. Um, let's see. I already have a zombie here. This area is brutal. There is hidden spawners everywhere. Trying not to die as we take over take this area. I don't know if there's anything else in here. It might be the intersection, or the intersection might be in the cavern of Scott. Sky. Let's go. Ah, oh, you cheater. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we have a path lit up here. Thank you. Just kill yourself like that it would be appreciated. Oh, frick. I couldn't block it. My armor is not appreciating this. It's not spider proof, but I'll do. Seems to just be creepers falling there. Not watching our heads here, just quickly getting. To okay, there's the spawner we saw earlier, I think. With yeah, the maze of skeletons. Thank you, they fight each other. Okay, let's dodge out of there. Okay, this area looks somewhat safe. This is where we came down, I think. Somewhat safe as I say as I get shot. A skeleton who followed me. This is definitely 1 3 we're playing, right? Jeez. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, whatever. Um, we need to get up. Might need to get up there. Uh, let's avoid that for now. Let's uh, keep going this way. See what lies ahead. Don't want to miss anything in here. Okay, so. Got a horde down there. With good shot. Skellies that are way too good of a shot for their own good. Don't have any bread on our hotbar. You bugger. Don't blow up. Hiss. I'm not afraid just to stand here and kill you all, where I'm safe. <laughs> it is cute. I hope the creep is falling. You. There we go. Okay, that's that horde. Let's, yeah, let's dive in. Oh, you. There's spawners somewhere in here. That, there's no way though. That was a natural spawn horde. That was a ridiculous amount of mobs. <laughs> Should have expected that sign like that by the coal, but thanks for helping me mine out more coal that I wasn't even trying. Ha! Beat you there, Vex. So. We. It's a bit dark. Let's. Before we approach that spawner again, make some. more torches. Uh, warm from her mouse hand by spinning around, dizzying the viewers. Okay, that's spawn distance. There is a skelly in there. No, it's a zombie. Come over here. So we are going to we are going to try and get in there the alternate way, which is up here. So we're going to uh, tunnel up to that. Want to get close to it without exposing ourselves too hard, too necessarily to it. Which exactly what that was not. Oh, I can't block. I want to bl 
luck. Oh, there goes two mushroom stews. And half our armor. That did not work out so well. So we are going to go up high then. I have to take out this creeper. We made that area not safe anymore. So we're going to go back up here. And uh, bridge across, I guess. This will work. Perfect. Oh, if I can only just grab that side there without standing over this edge, because I'm worried about getting sh I'm gonna get shot down if I tr if I do. So we're going to do a slightly safer way. Do that. Now I think we can reach. There we are. Okay, now we're across to the spawner. Nothing behind us. So we should be able to get at this spawner quite easily now. Nope. Nope. Don't want any way of them shooting me. So we're going to try and peek in. Okay, the spawner is over there. So we can go down another level. Um, let's peek in here. We are just setting them off badly. <laughs> okay, so we need to get over to that side. So we're going to go down a little further. Get below floor level. Or at floor level at least. So let's take a peek in. There's one of them. Let's take you out. The creeper one, the creepers that we keep seeing are somewhat nearby. So, um, we're gonna go around and get that spawner because it's so dangerous to go in there head on, and because of how long it takes to break a spawner in this version, that we die if we even thought of that. So, I think there's stuff on our le left too. It sounds like. Okay, it should be about where the spawner is. There it is take that out then we can clear this area little area pocket out so then we are somewhat safer to go down below don't know if there's a path above us or not okay this area is safe ish just this creepers are in here so let's see if we can find them I think that's a, that should be about where they are. Uh, maybe tunnel over here. Where did these creepers spawn at? No, we've explored that. So are they farther over? Uh, let's try from the other end of our tunnel here. I want to find these these guys. They're going to keep dropping in on me down there. Not seeing any flashes or anything. Seeing light on the corners, but that's pretty normal. We've explored down there, it seems. Moreover. That's something. Oh, I've been here. Partially, that's where I went climbed up, I think. So let's see, what can we do here? So they are down there, the evil. Oh, they're up there too. Let's get back in here. Okay, so they are this the area is evil. Go die. Go away. Just go. Uh, oop, there's a lot of mobs around here. The sounds are starting to glitch. Okay, there's something up here, so let's um Ah oh, shoot. Dang it. Okay, where are we? Okay. 
Uh, let's just go right back where we were. That was really dumb, leaving a hole there. So, let's move over a bit and then try and get up to this level. I'm not sure if it's worth clearing this out, since we already got that lime wool. But, there could be an intersection here. We still haven't found it. Just like the mines. It could have been in the mines, where there was a rail track, so... Hoping we're not making too bad of a mistake with our path. I really don't feel like clearing out those mines. This is a lot nicer with the... The... Caving like this. And this seems to be a pretty dangerous area. You die already. Okay, it sounds somewhat clear, so we're going to brush in. Torch, 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 torch. Okay, so this level is clear. Somewhat safe, because so there's the wool we found. Down here is a derpy zombie. Hidden area here, probably for them to spawn in. I thought I saw spider eyes there, but I'm clearly going blind. So we know this. Let's check this area out up here again. Yeah. Take the boat we leave here. We got small mushroom farmish thing. There was our lime wool again. And we are running out of time again. I'll take that iron chest that's in here. Uh, what are we like on armor stats? Still good on it. Nothing of value here besides the interesting dart. So we will, uh, might, um, yeah, let's call, call an episode here. Nothing really accomplished. Lit up a bunch of this cave. Brought back some supplies. Other than that, not <laughs> particularly useful. But as always, it's our truce. Have a nice day. Next time, we'll either finish conquering this or head over to Cavern of Sky. See you next time. And welcome back to episode 13. Not much accomplished last time. We lit up a bunch of area here. Uh, seems to drain quite a lot of time what we did. Had to do a few retreats for food. Not doing the best now, but I just realized we have mushrooms here. Let's make a couple bowls of mushroom stew. Hopefully these will spread back out. Got a good supply of both. Let's use the crafting table in here. Make ourselves a few more... Make ourselves some food. So we can try and continue on in this area. I'll make another... Call piece of bread for quick food sources. Should be good on food there. Armor is dying, but we'll keep it on right now. We don't need a new pair of leather armor just yet. So we've conquered this top area. There's still a few areas like over there and down about there that haven't been conquered. So we are going to head back down here. We're going to take this area out first because there is a lot of hostiles on the other side. There we go. And that was a dead end. Bet there's T and more TNT here after that last one. Uh, after this, though, I think we've got it all. So I think it was just a waste lighting all this up. We should just uh, stuck with how we had it before. Okay, there's mostly creepers. I see a few skellies. Mainly trying to hit the creepers. Hell, I've aggroed them. This is oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Really, these creepers spawning. Why can't I hit them? Wait for that fuse. That fuse still hasn't gone down. There's two of them. My leg on the arrow is pretty poor. <laughs> oh man. I think I know what this calls for. Ow, 
frick, I hit. Didn't hit the too deep water. Okay, let's uh, run around to the other side, I guess, then. Or How do you get in here? Where do you spawn from? Like, honestly, you spawned here? Oh, yeah, you don't tell me anything. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Oh, why wasn't I using that before? No. Uh, I'll see. I'll, I'll probably avoid using that. Okay, we're going around then. There is. Where did all you guys creepers come from? Like, Vex, like, turn on the creeper spawner suddenly? Um, make a slight retreat around here. I want to despawn most of these guys. Creepers falling. Following me. So we are going to retreat from the Twisting Dark because there's a bit too many creepers spawning now. Um, then we'll take a quick look. We're going to peek over at Cavernous Sky here. Um, make four more, 12 more torches. Oh, 16. Sorry. Have a bit more to go on now and head over here. Which is huge and open, but probably not near as many mobs as that last spot. But it's going to take an absolute ton of torches to get get up there where I want, where I think we need to be. This gravel is just annoying. I haven't heard any TNT yet. Pressure plate there. Yeah, it's set off. Clear this area out a bit. And let's see what... Uh, they just made a hole in the ground. That didn't help us whatsoever. I don't particularly want to walk on this gravel now. But... We want... To yeah, stuff like that, Vex. So we got some slimes, creeper, and a skelly down by the lava there. Ah, a vast! Why would you do that to me? Uh, sorry for your ears. Hurt mine. <laughs> what do we gain? There's a chest over there. Probably has some good... Keep our crawling pace up so we get down here. The redstone torch over there, or is that just a regular torch? Looks like looks a bit red to me. This area is massive, so we might need to get all that coal. That I want, but I didn't bring the water bucket because I need, <laughs> I lost one of them and I, uh, I'm gonna need to go get water buckets, aren't I? Oh shoot! Oh crap! There's two of them. Sorry if you can't see this. Oh crap! Crap! Retreat! Can't see where they are. Okay, we lost our pants. Helmet's about to die. Use another two bowls of mushroom stew. Gonna have to make some more bread again. So we're gonna peek in there again, see what what the what the flood flood was going on. All hell. Um, I think we'll leave all hell for now. I want to get some we'll get the water bucket over here again. Clear out that floor. Looks like something up here too. If we go this way. I think we also have an alternate entrance here too, but I want that. Ch I prefer to have that chest if I could. It's dangerous. Yep. Good. Okay, so that chest just feels so much like a trap. It's standing on a pillar of gravel. So if you open that chest, that pillar will likely fall. No, I can't think of. 
Anything that would really hurt us. Oh, that looks nice. Even that. You know, you can really tell the MC Edit carvings in there. That looks good. That's where we... Let's try going to... Let's go back to that entrance. And see where that help... How that helps us. And... I'll make some leather pants on our stop at the intersection here. So we're going to go back through the Ilvern uh, area. Area, yet again. But we are going to try and grab, we'll grab an infinite water source too while we do this. Grab, bring this water bucket with us. Hopefully not lose it. Keep it there to remind us of the price of failure and we need to get through the Ilvern mines to get to that area. Probably will grab the water, maybe drop it off along the way before entering there or just hold it on to hold on to it. We do have 3 iron left to make a bucket if we need to. Haven't found our iron infinite iron source or well, iron cave yet. We found the gold cave. And so far no other resources besides coal could make gold armor but there's not really that much and that area is quite dangerous to silver and mines so we are going to take the I uh, just thought I looked in the off wrong spot there we're going to take uh, try and get through this area um, so we're so close we'll grab the water source anyway so we can put out some of the lovely lava lighting unfortunately just to get make it a lot safer and if we start falling try and place it maybe we're going to grab some water from the blue wool. Which I hope is infinite. They sprung and not done in a way to make it annoying. Oh, I thought that was a skelly there for a second. Yep, there we go. Infinite water. However, not infinite buckets. So we need to either get another bucket or we need to... I don't know what we need to do. Get some iron. We need to find the iron. Hopefully the this cavern has it or we get the next intersection already. This intersection's taking a bit longer than most, just mainly this area here. Because it had so many stuff leading up to it. I feel I feel a bit unaccomplished, that's really all we've done, but I guess we've pretty much done the other uh the what is it called? The twisting dark. Yeah, because we got the blue wool from there and I haven't doesn't seem to be much. That area down there just seems to be a little pit. So we're going to make our way downstairs here. Interesting. Okay, there's like an entrance in here. Somewhat um, safe entrance. A little stronghold here. Oh, you. Get out of here, get out of here. That was bad. That was really bad. Creepers can die in a fire. Please don't have breached this area. Yeah, you did. So we have for no building blocks in my hotbar. Well, crud. That is even harder to get out of. Mobs spawn everywhere here. Um, let's make a couple pieces of bread with the wood we with the wheat we've got on us. Let's be our little strongholdish area. We got our water. Preferably, do not want to die with that on us. Okay, we're gonna tunnel out a bit. Get some torches out here. You can shoot me here. Buzz off. Frigger. This area does not want to be attempted, does it? This is just crazy to get into there. Um, I guess we go back the other way with our water now. And go down for that chest, maybe. 
Can you give us something good? I need more arrows, too. Um, I don't think there's much arrows here. I left some in the chest, though, so we'll grab those. Yeah, and I guess we have the armor up with leather. Just good, but doesn't last as long. These creepers, it's going to last no, ah, no time at all. I think I'm only going to record a couple episodes today because this is just getting frustrating. <laughs> Uh, no sign of wool, no sign of an intersection. We're trying to get, reach into the cavernous sky. I don't know, I don't know if other people had trouble getting into this area. From this, the only one with the issues with this. Having no armor now doesn't help. Well, got an iron chest. Okay, back at intersection two. We want to make our little infinite spring here. So we got that. We don't have any... We forgot dirt again. We were just there. Oh, man. Okay, so we don't have food. Well, yeah, we do. Never mind. We don't have any armors. We do have our leather, so we'll make a full set of leather. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one. I made one too many pieces, it's gonna mess up my pattern, is it? Nope. There we are. I'm gonna take off. Um Don't know what lasts longer, those broke this broken iron or the So we'll take we're gonna trade it all for for leather, get all full leather up here. Put away these. Make our mushroom stew, our lifesaver. And uh, get feel really tired. Still make it. And we will head back into the cavernous sky. We will not be foiled by this incredible mob spawns in the darkness. Are these cheaty skellies or the two hordes of creepers? Creepers? This is why people were scared of creepers. No one's scared of a creeper now. It barely does any damage. You block it, it does two hearts of damage. Barely dents your armor. Ooh, that was dangerous. I don't have any blocks in my bar again. Done that twice. Don't need TNT that often. This is not safe whatsoever. That's safer. This is a trap. I wonder if this is going to set up a trap by breaking this. Nope. Another one under here? Nope. So I got rid of That's why there was too many skellies here. Okay, there's an area down here. That's nice. See some zombies up ahead. Shadow. Ooh. Ow. That was four blocks. Let me pay more attention to where I'm dropping. So I have no safe retreat path, really. Uh, I can get up here. Okay, zombies are starting to come. He's just trying to lull me into a false sense of security with this, all this gravel that's not actually falling. Sure of it. Like this. This has got. This has got to be floating. Something up there. We are so close to this chest. We can taste it. Or is that just metallic taste of this lava? Um, I think it's safe to actually do this. So. Try 
place on the side of that block. Okay, so, make this safe on us. That has got to be a trap. TNT, maybe? Okay, so our escape path is run that way like hell. This is so going to fall when I open this chest. I don't, I think. Nope. Take the armor and bread. That's nice. Some torches. I feel like this is still a trap. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Chest wasn't really worth it. But it'll help. So now where do we go? So we have lit up this little bottom area. I don't see another chest. I'm guessing there is one. Somewhere hidden around there. Um, let's take a look. Yeah. Zombie, where are you? There you are. Let's light this up a little better. So there's something above here. So let's get up there. No, it's just a wall. They're going to likely spawn. Okay, so good progress. We've claimed this area here as our own. Let's make our way up here. This is pretty dubious being on this edge. So let's make a quick beat up here. While we slowly run out of torches. There's lava there. I haven't seen that redstone torch I thought I saw. Maybe it was just a peak of lava around the corner. This feels... Yeah, come on. I missed. How'd I miss? I swung right at him. Oh, this wall of coal. <laughs> this has got to be TNT somewhere, but we might, we might TNT ourselves to get a quick mining job on this. That, TNT, that, that coal is going to be so helpful in lighting that half up, because we are out of torches. Let's see how dangerous this is. Getting some coal... And there's probably pressure plates under here, maybe. Um, let's grab eight pieces. Uh, we'll grab 16. We'll grab a stack of torches. Oh, oh, derpy, derpy mouse. Derpy mouse is derpy. Okay, this is nice. Finally got a good source of coal. There we go. We've got 16. Got the sticks on us? No, of course not. We have the wood on us to make all the sticks. So we'll make what we can. Might have to make a victory monument run, even though without a wool. Unless we can find some wood sources here. Let's grab these torches again that we lost. Okay. Something up there. Subsi that, 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 that's something. Um, let's, this is somewhere we're going to be coming a lot, so we're going to light up a bit. Oh, just a, something up here? Skeleton? Okay, there's skeletons somewhere over here, so let's retreat away so we can maybe get a better view if there's something up there. Appears to be a cave of some sorts up there, maybe. Perhaps. It's blocking me. Okay, yep, there's definitely something up there. Dang it. Okay. What do we got? 14. Uh, we shouldn't be doing this. Hey, Creeper, you want to mine for us? Nope. You want to come down here?
Come on, Vex. Not gonna let me tunnel into here. Buzz off. Where is this room? Okay, I'm at feet. I'm below feet level. I'm gonna be up one. Please don't be lava. Okay, we get some torches in here. This is something. I haven't seen the spawners yet. Or if they're behind the lava wall or something. Oh, there they are. A little fun box room here. No reward. Yeah, I'll just stay there, Creeper. And... Let's see... You would! Well... Shite. The skeleton spawner's still here and that was my last pick. Or if we... Um... There. Okay, nothing should spawn. I think we might have a little fast motion sequence while I sit here and punch a skeleton spider to death. Or not. Let's just talk about how long it takes to break a spawner in this version. Um, quite a while. If you want to time it, you can check, but it's about feels about 15 seconds with a pick, so I'm guessing it's about 30 seconds no pick here. And... There we go. Skeleton, skeleton's gone. I'm trapped in here. Um, quickest way out is to break this one block with my fist. Because I was an idiot and didn't bring another pick while we were at, at somewhere where we could have got one. Those pillars over there look interesting. Straight ahead. Let's get in there. Here now. Nothing. Nothing at all. Ah. Yeah, that's the right run. Yeah. Glitchy creeper, glitchy creeper. Okay, so we need to make our way back to the entrance to get... Because we need wood. We've gone a good conquering distance in, but we need to get over there again. So we need to go uh, retrace our path back up and down here. Perhaps we'll light up just a little closer to this lava. Make this tri trip not so bad. But we need to get out of here. This is a really nice area. All the way up to the sky, which isn't loading. <laughs> okay, that so something's probably up there. There's pillars there that look interesting. Uh, excuse me. Where did we come up? We came up around this corner here. Yep. Oh man, so close. That'll do. Another piece of cobble to break with our fists. Gonna have hands of steel after this. If only, just because then we could break, we could break some stuff. Do what happened to our iron pick? Did that get blown up, or we just store it back at the Victory Monument for safekeeping? Oh, is that another chest there? Or is that the one we went to? That's the one we went to. Skeleton's trying to find its way over to us. Possibly, nope, nothing interesting down there. Those look interesting, unless they're just light glitches. Just looking for any hidden chest that we might have missed there. Other than that, unfortunately we're going to have to do another run for wood. So, yet another unaccomplished episode, really. We've lit up about a quart, third of the... No, I wouldn't even say that. Maybe a fifth of the cavernous sky. We've got our water with us. We are going to make a 
full retreat because we have no useful stuff on us. We'll take the bones with us back. You got enough for mushrooms too. Need a piece of bread to heal up full. And back to the victory monument. And we're back at the Victory Monument. We've still got 29 pieces of wool on us. And we're otherwise in good, pretty good shape. So what we're going to do, which will probably finish off the episode here, fortunately already, is we are going to make a little farm. We're going to start a little wheat farm here. We have dirt, right? <laughs> right? We got a piece of dirt. Ah, never prepared, are we? Well, it'll have to do a one, one block wheat farm. We'll get more when we get more wood. So we need a couple sticks, make ourselves a stone hoe. And we are going to get some wheat to end this episode, I guess. Nine seeds. Let's just use the 17 bones we have on us. It should give us 17 pieces of bread worth. Which is a lot of wheat to the farm. But we can do it. Just gonna sit here. Okay, so out of that we got our 52 wheat, so we can make plenty of bread, though we can't store it because it doesn't stack, so we're going to make, make 8 slices, which I think we can hold. 1, 2, do, do, do. so we're ending making more food <laughs> yet again. We just ate a piece that we didn't need to, so that was a wait, bit of waste there, but still got plenty of bones left. And with that, we are running out of time. So we are going to uh, leave. Um, what, what, how's our leather armor doing? Quite well. We'll leave our chain extra armor back here. We will leave the wheat here we, and the seeds because we don't want to lose those. Keep our TNT with us. Uh, keep the bucket on us and throw the gunpowder and feathers back. Flint away. Keep the coal. Wood. Wood, 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 wood. Yeah, we're bringing wood up to that, that intersection. We're actually going to bring some more food up to that intersection too. And our extra bowl that we've been leaving here. Actually, you'll keep the armor on us to that intersection because we're going to need it. And I think that I'll do is here. We'll bring the stuff back to the intersection. Action. But actually, we will... Eh. No, we got, we got time. We're going to do a quick run back to the intersection. And, uh, yeah end with talking about the red block server so I'm gonna start working on a computer again hopefully I'll finish this one like some of my others we're gonna ignore that skeleton uh, I've decided to make a little 4-bit computer I want it's gonna be uh, just a fairly simple one multi uh, it's gonna have multi cycle instructions not just single cycle instructions like a lot of the computers are built meaning I could run it on something like a Six o'clock, maybe I can get up to, but it doesn't mean the instructions take six ticks. <laughs> so here, here, not much done about it. I've got it planned out on paper, uh, hopefully somewhat. I need to get more details in where that, what's going to happen each clock cycle. Got the instruction set somewhat figured out. I might have might do some changes. Could be all data based. Four-bit bus, everything's going to be shared, so you can have the program in RAM and actually modify your, do self-modifying if you want. Just have to set up the program like that, but its programs can also be on ROM, everything like that. 
So pretty much the standard computer. It's pretty uh, standard Minecraft computer, I guess. Nothing special. Just need to get it done. Uh, anyway, so that will conclude this episode today. Yet again, another not much done, but stuff accomplished episode. Ditch off some of this extra stuff. Leave the wood here, and next episode we'll be doing a bit more stuff. Anyways, this has been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.